Early inventors designed their creations through trial and error. They often had to make custom pieces to build their new machines. But as the manufacture of technological products scaled up, it became necessary to set fixed assembly protocols and to use regular, well-defined components. This is called standardization. You can enjoy reliable products and services because they use standard pieces and procedures. First tire? No problem, it's a standard size. Standards are everywhere. Imagine how difficult it would be to charge your phone or to change a light bulb if people didn't use standard sockets. In biology labs, standards are important too, as researchers create technological products of a different kind. For example, lab scientists insert genes into bacteria to make them produce useful compounds, such as medicines. Unfortunately, biologists are still lacking many standards. While scientist A may use one type of bacteria to produce a drug, scientist B could be using another microorganism for the same purpose. Or while scientist A chooses certain DNA parts to modify his bacteria, scientist B may pick different genetic sequences, even when both researchers want to create the same product. This variability between components and procedures can yield inconsistent results. To solve this, scientists and companies from Europe and overseas have come together in a project called BioRoboost. They examine tools that different researchers already use and suggest common solutions. Their goal is to set universal standards for the field of synthetic biology. This means standard DNA parts that scientists can mix and match to carry out genetic modifications, standard organisms that people can use for different types of experiments, a standard language that scientists can use to describe biological systems, and standard protocols that scientists can follow in different laboratories. Getting researchers everywhere to work with common standards fosters collaboration, and in the future, we will all benefit from useful and reliable biotechnology products.